it was one of the most cringeworthy moments in award show history. And, and 10 years later... We are drugged out. We are following other people's opinions. We are controlled by the media. And today, it all changes. You got Tupac and Lennon in that hallway. Today, it all changes. We need to think how to think free. We need to be free thinkers. Then we need to learn how to feel free. People say feel free, but we don't even know how to feel free or think free. Pretty, isn't it? Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Free. Say what you feel, positive or negative. I just got off the phone with J. Cole. He said, how do you feel when they said the Crips is going to uh, kill you. I said, man, that was the headline. But when they said um, they wanted to beat me up, I said, that's great. They're my brothers. They love me. I'm the only one who knows that. At least I'm the only one with the will to act they on me. it. They don't want nothing to happen to you. They just want to be some sense to me. I love Daz. I love the Crips. I love the Bloods. I love everyone. You How many made. people are to feeling, how many people In felt something that I said today? You will always Raise a hand know. if you felt something that I said today. Do you feel that I'm feeling, do, do you feel that I'm being Those free and I'm like thinking you. free? There are no yes. men like me. Do, do, there I actually don't think you're thinking anything. Like you. I think what you're doing right now is actually the absence of thought. Oh, thank you, Mr. That's President. That's okay. I know you're not thinking. You never do. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. And the reason why I feel like that, because Kanye, you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to believe whatever you want. But there is fact and real world, real life consequence behind everything that you just said. And while you are making music and being an artist, and living the life that you've earned by being a genius, the rest of us in society have to deal with these threats to our lives. We have to deal with the marginalization that has come from the 400 years Shut of slavery that up. you said for you our people was a choice. Every day we have to walk head. into that truth while you choose to say things that, to be honest with you, dog, are nonsensical. You want to think freely? That's fine. I'll combat your free thought with my free thought because mine is grounded in the reality that I have been given and the reality that I'm going to change, but I'm not going to do it by pretending that the enemies are on the same team as me. You're not the only one cursed with knowledge. And frankly, I'm disappointed. I'm appalled. And brother, I am unbelievably hurt by the fact that you have morphed into something to me, that's not real. That's the way I feel. Stand on all the coffee tables you want to stand on. Say whatever you want to say, but don't throw a stone, then hide your hand like the rest of us are just going to swallow it. Yay, be yay. I'm off it forever. Do you. But remember, the life that I live is as a real person, an actual person. Now, the thing is, he said some, uh, he said grounded in reality. This reality has been forced upon us. It is a choice. Just like when I said slavery is a choice. The reality, we can make our own reality. Reality can be whatever I want. We can talk about history, but not too long. We need to talk about our now, because we can fix and start loving each other now. When I say we have no enemies, we don't have enemies, black people have a tendency to focus and march when a white person kills a black person or wears a hat. But when it's 700 kids being killed in Chicago, it's OK. It's OK for blacks to kill blacks. But if it's a white uh, thing... Wait, 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 saying that's OK. That's, no, wait, 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 There's wait, been stop, more focus stop, and stop. more marches... That is a lie. ...about Yo, don't believe whites that. killing blacks there, wait, wait, wait. than there, kids there, in wait, Chicago wait, 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 killing each other. That's a lie. There are black people... Okay, wait a second. Black. Now, this is a problem. Wait, wait a second. We have to... You're, you're too far. You have to be closer to me. I'm, I'm in here right now. There are black no, people working every single day. Brother, don't scream because it will make us look... Yeah. 
crazy. I'm introduced for the first time ever anywhere the 45th president of the United States of America. Okay, okay, I know we look in front of this. Candace. You talk as a boy. No, no, when you, when you scream, this is what I'm saying. when you no, scream no. and you don't talk, it okay. doesn't look. Okay. Right. Let, listen, me, let me just say but, something. Well, let, let me just say this, something. Is let me point done? this upon you. Okay, this, no. this is a perfect example. But, I, right, right. Like, no, I don't no, mean to. No, no, I think, I think he might want to fight me, but I want to give him a hug. Okay, but like. Let's finish the conversation and then conversation. Well, I love you and I want to give you a hug. I feel like you want to fight me right now, but I love you. I don't I don't fight with my fist, man. I've been through that. This is what I'm saying. So if I come over there, you're not going to fight me? No, I'm not going to hit Kanye West and TMZ. <laughs> 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 Bro, you gotta be responsible, man. Bro, I'm sorry you I gotta, hurt you. You gotta be responsible, dog. I'm sorry I nah, hurt man, you, bro. bro. Your voice is too big. You gotta I'm be sorry I hurt you, bro. bro. I love you, bro. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry I hurt you with my words, bro. Yeah, bro. You I love you, be bro. Responsible, man. Bro, you gotta I, be responsible, I didn't mean bro. I didn't mean to say things that hurt you. I didn't mean to wear the hat out the blue and shock so many people and not give them a way out of the pain. I understand that that gave him pain, that made him see pain, and not give him a way out of the pain. I understand that that gave him pain, that made him see pain. But guess what? When I went into the hospital. We're now in the hospital. TMZ is the hospital to fix the world. We uh, Obama was our opioids. It made us feel like everything Yo, yeah, was good. That's not true, bro. Yeah. That's not true. Listen, first yeah. of all, calmly. What, what's your What's your name, though? I'm Van. I'm, and I'm, I'm sorry for, for disappointing you, Van. Yeah, listen. Yeah. Calmly. Yeah. What you said up there a second ago, yeah. the statistic on black-on-black black black violence is true. What they don't tell you is there are people dedicating their lives to working throughout the problems of black people. Mm -hmm. There are black people every day, boots on the ground, they're all over the place that are working towards this. Mm -hmm. Like, every single day, people are trying to fix this problem. You heard it in the most elegant way possible. So, so that's a Stephen move. When Harriet Tubman, well Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves. She just had the slaves go work for other white people. Y'all, we leaving right now. She said she was pregnant and worked one month and two months and three months. We talked about her not having this child. She had the pills in her hand. Do people know these pills where you take the pills? And if you take it, it's a wrap. The baby's gone. So I was sitting up in Paris, and I had my leather pants on. <laughs> you already know. If you got leather pants on, you already know who this person must think they are. Right? And I'm in the apartment where my wife was actually robbed. And I have my laptop up, and I got all of my creative ideas. I got my shoes. I got my sound cover. I got God has the final word in your life. And I called my wife. And she said, we're going to have this baby. My mom saved my life. My dad wanted to abort me. My mom saved my life. There would have been no Kanye West because my dad was too busy. Influential than any other human being. Don't with me. Don't with me. Don't with me. 
by 50%, dead or alive, by 50% for the next thousand years. Stanley Kubrick, yay. Sources tell TMZ West did eventually speak calmly with SNL executive producer Lauren Mike. Together, crisis apparently averted, but mm -hmm. the meltdown continues. As you probably could have guessed by this moment, I have decided in 2020 to run for president.